Hey, how's it going? About a week ago I made a video and it was talking about basically my problem with Sonic the Hedgehog and how recently his name has kind of been synonymous with mediocrity because he's had a lot of really bad games come out. Uh, we had Sonic Forces, uh, Sonic and the Black Knight, uh, Sonic Lost World to name a few and he's just kind of been on a bad streak but I never really presented a solution. Which made me think, okay, I'm just being a negative Nancy, what would I want out of a Sonic game? More importantly, what would I want out of a 3D Sonic game? And what ended up happening was in my comment section and on responses on my Twitter, people were saying, hey Scooch, you should go check out the Sonic fan games, which I did. I went and I checked out the Sonic fan games. I checked out a lot of the Sonic fan games. I checked out a lot. And basically, I tried out this game called Sonic Utopia which was really fun, but I played it for like 20 minutes and then I, I, I hung it up and I was like, okay, cool, let me try something else. Tried a game called Sonic uh, Hero Project. I tried out like three more just random engine stuff. Uh, but every single time I tried a new Sonic game, I wanted to go back to playing Sonic Utopia. And I was wondering why did I want to play this one Sonic game more than the others? Why did this game keep making me want to come back? And I guess the reason is, and this is kind of where the video turns into a let's play, but not really because I'm going to be talking the entire time. Uh, but I guess the reason is that this game made movement very fun. And I will show you. First off, just looking at it, when you first look at it, like, yeah, the graphics obviously need some work, right? This isn't the best Sonic model in the world. Is that a fucking PNG for a mouth? But that's not why we're here. We're here because of the movement. Check it out. So you have a jump button, right? And then you have a crouch button. And if you crouch at any given moment, you go into your ball mode. Look, boom, ball mode. Jump, if you hold crouch, you stay in ball mode when you land versus going back on your feet. And then the last button is this little peel out button, which just makes you go fast uh, from starting. Boom, you see that? Those are the three buttons. And at first, it sounds kind of limited. Whereas other games have like drop kicks or, or power slams or boosts and all this other stuff, this game only has three buttons. But the thing that makes this game so fun is what it does with those three buttons. This entire map, which is gigantic, and I will show you in a second, is based around getting you to get the most out of the way that you time your drops, the places that you jump, uh, and, and a bunch of other stuff that makes it so fun to play. If I could give this, if I can give you an example, it would be like, most Sonic games feel like you just want to get through the level and that's it. Whereas this game feels more like a Tony Hawk. Here, let me go up here to see if we can find anything. I've played this game for hours now, by the way. It's a demo with one level, and I have played it for hours because every single time I play it, I find more and more stuff, and it's so great to play. Hold on, let's go over here. Yeet and then yeet, and then yeet. Look, right here, if you if you land there correctly, you get a huge speed boost from it. If you're running fast enough, you can stick to walls. If I want, I can go up here with my momentum and look to see if there's anything hidden up here, or I could have stayed running on that and then jumped on this little island right here to get this power up. I could fall into the water and be bad at games like I always am. And it's just every single thing about this game is creative platforming at its best. You have to think about how to optimize your movement to get to certain areas or just to get the most speed because XD Sonic Fast is like the reason why people like him, right? It initially, I'll be honest, and probably the reason why I put it down so fast at first is the game initially feels a little bit clunky. And the reason why is because it's not too easy to get down whereas a lot of sonic games it's incredibly easy to be like okay hold right and i win this game gives a little bit of challenge to your movement and to the way that you got to do things right in order to add a level of complexity that hasn't really been in sonic games before which i think is dope as shit it is a really really cool thing here let's go Let's go. This is, by the way, my favorite thing about this game. This is only one level, by the way. Look at how much stuff there is to play on. If you look around, you can see there is a loop-de-loop -loop over there. There is a big spiral loop over here, right? There's just so many things. There is an island in this direction, if I remember, if, if I can recall correctly. And I just kind of want to show you guys this. You'll see what I mean by movement when I start doing things that are actually a lot cooler. Like right here, watch. Check this out. If I go over here and I 
crouch as it's going down. I get more momentum. So I could jump up here, spin dash this way, land over here, keep my momentum, keep running, and now have enough momentum to get into this thing. And if I crouch as I'm going down, I get more momentum. And of course, uh, that means that I could get that power up that was way up there. And a lot of this game is, you know, creative platforming based on your speed. Don't know how I'm gonna get up. Oop, got punched in the ass by a missile. Oopsie doopsie. All right, don't know how I'm gonna get up there. Maybe I could speed up on this and then jump off of it at the right moment. I know that was hard to see that I was doing that, but that's what I did. You'll, you'll see how fun it is after a few seconds of getting used to it. How fun it is to just mess around and trying trying to get, I don't know, to places you haven't been before. There's going to be a really cool here. Let me show you guys something. There is a hole over here in this wall that I found after like three hours of playing this one level. That is just so cool. Eh, eh. Let me show you. Was it over there? I think it's over here. I'm pretty positive it's over here. In looking at this game and playing it and, and realizing that... It is unlike any Sonic uh, property that has ever been made by official Sega. It begs the question, what kind of game would it be, right? But judging by how big these levels are and how much stuff there is, obviously it'd be like a collect-a-thon. You don't want a level like this where you just have to get to the end, right? You would want the level to be booming with life, which is something that you can't really say about a lot of the Sonic games, if not most Sonic games. 3D, I mean, like, in, in, in most 3D Sonic games, if you were to ever stop, uh, you run into something, you mess up, you stop, you would notice that there is not a lot of life in most of the level. A lot of the level has nothing going on because you're supposed to keep moving fast. Whereas in this game, it's not like that at all. In this game, it's like you want to stop over here and find out what's going on on this island. You want to stop over there and find out what's going on on that island. You want to look and see where you can get what, and that's kind of what sells the idea of this 3D Sonic where the funnest thing to do is just kind of walk around and move. The reason why it's so fun is because you spend so much time just traversing the land and finding whatever you can in the nooks and crannies of the levels you play. And I feel like Sonic has never had something like that. It's never really, he's never really had a game that forced you to explore the real estate that they make for you. It's always just like, hey, here's a level, uh, beat it in two minutes and get an S rank, you know? This right here is, I guess, a testament to how beautiful something like this can be if they were to put a big team behind it instead of having just one random fan put it together <sighs> let's go up here and then let's go up here and then let's go up here and let's go up here and then let's go and let's go yeet and let's go maybe maybe we could do something cool here i want to go over here i think that in and of itself, just that little jump right there shows how much fun there, like how much beauty there is in a Sonic game based so much around momentum. Um, can I? Let's see, let's try this out. I've never tried it out and I probably can't, but let's try it out. No, you can do that! Do you see how sick that is? You could literally generate enough momentum off of that one ramp. You could generate enough momentum off of that one ramp to get to the island on the other side. It's just such a cool concept. Did I wonder why they haven't played around with it? Like that is such a creative puzzle that doesn't seem like anything at all. When in reality, it's you just look at it and then you, you kind of figure out the angle and there you go. So check it out. This is kind of a testament to what I would want in a Sonic game. Look at this area right here. This area, oh, it's so beautiful. A little hole in the wall that I didn't see for my first few hours playing the game. And surely enough, it leads to a wonderful platforming section where everything is kind of made of diamonds and jewels, which is a really cool aesthetic. To get onto this platform, you have to jump off of a specific wall. Get an extra life, doesn't really matter. Not like I'm dying, it's a demo right over here trying to find a way to get up to that i obviously cannot make this jump go right here charge 
jump. It's just such a unique take on Sonic that seems like it's been here all along. It seems like the idea has has been in front of everyone's face, but nobody's ever done it. And everyone always does those press A to win Sonic games, or Sonic Team always does press A to win, and they oversimplify the shit out of a character that I think should be complicated to a T. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. Look at how beautiful that is. Look at how beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. All right, let's go over here. I want to get this. Hey, yeet. Hey, yeet. Okay, cool. And yeet. 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 So this is a really good, this is a really good overview of the game and kind of like everything there is. Like, the fact that you can look over this hill and see how many things there is that you can mess around with and how many things there is that you can do tricks off of and try to generate more momentum, it's kind of like what this game stands for, right? You want a game like this specifically because you know that it will it will open up the world of Sonic in a way that hasn't been done. Sonic 06 tried, Sonic Adventure 1 tried, but it, they've never done something that made you feel like you were in Green Hill Zone, besides obviously the original 2D games, and the 3D games not even, because all the Green Hill Zones in the 3D games have been press A to win. This is the first time I've ever played a Sonic game and went, oh, okay, Green Hills, look at all that, loop there, loop there, ramp there, island over there, floating platforms over there. And that is, I guess, why I needed to make a video talking about this game. Because I think that it's really cool, and I think that it's something that the Sonic team should try to, that the Sonic team should try to do, uh, or license someone else to do, because there's so much, uh, I guess, undiscovered potential. Sonic doesn't hold a candle to a lot of games. Sonic is relatively bad when you compare it to Hat in Time, to to Mario Odyssey, to just about any 3D platformer. Sonic doesn't really do well, or is not in the list anymore. And maybe we'll get something really cool for the, for the 30th anniversary of Sonic, but who knows? I just want to make a video gushing about this game because I thought it was really cool. And I hope that we see more like it. Check it out in the description. That's it. I don't really have much more to say. Uh, I hope you enjoyed my tiny rant. Weird content, I know, but I'm trying to release more content this year. So whatever. Alright, I'll see you around. Goodbye.